terrifying structures found near the edge of observable universe. NASA has discovered that a mysterious structure may exist beyond the visible universe's edge and might be luring matter from our galaxy toward it. The space agency is perplexed by this discovery. What is it like as you get closer to the universe's edge? Well, let's uncover the edge of our universe. Hi guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today, we will be taking a look at what lies near the edge of the observable universe. Make sure to stick till the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video because it helps us a long way. It is completely unknown what exists outside of the observable universe. However, one study claims some structure is there and is drawing stuff toward it. Scientists are absolutely baffled by the idea of such a structure. The portion of the universe that scientists can currently observe has a diameter of roughly 93 billion light years and is known as the observable universe. Or, to put it another way, it is the farthest point in space that light has traveled since the Big Bang. The universe is constantly growing, but scientists are unaware of what it is growing into. Researchers are attempting to determine where or what the cosmos is expanding into because the idea of complete nothingness is incomprehensible to the human mind. Nevertheless, the existence of something called dark flow has led some scientists to hypothesize that a structure of some sort may be tugging the universe in all directions. This would also account for the universe's ongoing expansion. NASA scientists were astonished to discover that hundreds of galaxy clusters were traveling in the same general direction. This would indicate to the space agency that something with unfathomable energy and a powerful gravitational pull is luring galaxies toward it. According to NASA, the dark flow is debatable since the way matter is distributed in the universe as we know it cannot explain it. Its existence suggests that some structure outside our horizon, outside the observable cosmos, is pulling on matter nearby. The space agency claims that anything could make up the hypothetical structures that lie beyond the bounds of the observable universe. The most plausible theory would involve gravitational warping or energy on an unimaginable scale. This may imply that there is an infinite number of other worlds in addition to our own, which is known as the multiverse. According to the Resonance Science Foundation, dark flow may result from residual galactic flow after the inflationary Big Bang toward a region of the multiverse with higher mass than average, or as physicist Nassim Haramein has suggested, a torus geometry of the universe where it is rotating and has directional toroidal flow. For decades, the multiverse hypothesis has grown in popularity. After discovering a chilly point in the deep universe, experts also thought they had discovered the first concrete proof of this age-old notion. 10,000 galaxies are thought to be missing from the 1.8 billion light-year wide cold region, which was first identified in 2015. Scientists are perplexed because the strange region has 20% less matter than it should according to the standard model. One hypothesis for the cold spot is that it might be the remnant signal of the collision of our universe with one of the trillions of other universes, said Professor Tom Shanks from Durham University Center for Extragalactic Astronomy. If further, more extensive examination reveals this to be the case, then the cold spot might be viewed as the first proof for the multiverse, and billions of other universes may exist like our own. What is it like as you get closer to the universe's edge? There are numerous existential issues that have no clear answers, despite everything we've learned about our universe. Our universe's size must be more than the amount we can view, yet we have no idea if it has an infinite or finite scope. Whether our universe is the sum total of all that exists, or merely one of many universes that make up a multiverse is unknown to us. And because we don't have enough information to draw a firm conclusion, we still don't know what happened in the earliest moments of all in the first minuscule fraction of a second of the scorching Big Bang. We do know that the universe has an edge though, not in space, but rather in time. There is an edge to how far out we can see because the hot Big Bang happened at a known defined time in the past, 13.8 billion years ago, with an uncertainty of less than 1%. There is a basic limit to how far back we can see, even at the speed of light, the highest cosmic speed limit. The further back in time we can see, the farther away we must gaze. As we draw closer to the universe's edge, this is what we observe. 
After 13.8 billion years of the cataclysmic Big Bang, we can observe the universe as it is now. The majority of the galaxies we observe are grouped together in galactic groupings, such as the local group, and rich clusters, such as the Virgo cluster, and are separated by vast expanses of largely empty space called cosmic voids. A typical Milky Way-like galaxy develops an average of one new sun-like star per year, and the galaxies in these clusters are a mixture of spiral and elliptical in shape. In addition, while hydrogen and helium make up the majority of the universe's normal matter, 1-2% to of it is composed of heavier elements from the periodic table. This allows for the construction of rocky planets like Earth and sophisticated, even organic chemistry. The galaxies we see are often massive, advanced, and clustered together, despite the great variability. Some galaxies are actively creating stars, others have active black holes, some haven't generated any new stars in billions of years. However, when we zoom out farther and further, we begin to see how the universe developed to take on this particular shape. The universe appears to be slightly less clumpy and more uniform as we travel farther away, especially on larger scales. There are more spiral galaxies and fewer elliptical galaxies, which indicates that galaxies are less developed and have lower masses. The proportion of bluer stars is often higher, and the rate of star creation used to be higher. On average, there is less distance between galaxies, but previous groupings and clusters had smaller aggregate masses. It depicts a universe in which smaller, lower-mass galaxies merge together over cosmic timescales to form the modern behemoths we see all around us. This scenario explains how modern galaxies came to be. Earlier versions of the universe are made up of galaxies that are smaller in size, a lower mass, a closer proximity, larger in number, more blue-colored, robust in gas, increased star formation rates, and with less of the heavier components, as opposed to today's galaxies. But when we travel further and further back in time to increasingly earlier eras, the image starts to dramatically change. When we travel back in time to a location that is currently 19 billion light years away, which corresponds to a time when just approximately 3 billion years had passed since the hot Big Bang, we observe that the rate of star formation in the universe peaked. It was roughly 20 to 30 times higher than it is now. As a result of the consumption of surrounding matter, a very large portion of supermassive black holes are currently active and emitting very large amounts of particles and radiation. The universe has been evolving slowly for the last 11 billion years or so. Yes, structures continue to collapse due to gravity, but dark energy starts to oppose this and took control of the expansion of the universe more than 6 billion years ago. Although stars are still being created, the pinnacle of star creation has long since passed. And although supermassive black holes are still expanding, they were once at their brightest. Today, a bigger percentage of them are fainter and inactive than they were then. We begin to see even more substantial changes as we travel farther and farther away from the edge marked by the hot Big Bang's beginning. The universe was just 3 billion years old, star formation was at its peak, and the universe only contained 0.3 to 0.5% heavy elements when we look back to distances of 19 billion light years. But it's still unclear what lurks beyond this high energy soup's boundary. Although many of the predictions of cosmic inflation have been indirectly confirmed, we lack first-hand evidence for what happened in those early stages. The edge of the universe, as it appears to us, is peculiar to our viewpoint. Depending on the observer's location in space-time, we can look back 13.8 billion years in all directions. There are numerous edges in the universe, including the edge of transparency, the edge of galaxies and stars, the edge of neutral atoms, and the edge of our cosmic horizon from the Big Bang itself. There will always be a basic limit to how far we can observe with our telescopes. The length of time since the hot Big Bang is finite, despite the fact that space itself is limitless. No matter how long we wait, there will always be an edge that we are unable to see past. And that ends our episode. We hope you enjoyed our video. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below your own thoughts. And don't forget to like today's video. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.